today's Bible word is going to be grace, right? It's a little word, unlike propitiation, but uh, it's a little word with big impact, right? So grace, little word, big impact. Here's a, a Bible verse that I want to use to kind of guide us into it. Uh, I'm going to do it from memory, so don't beat me up if I make a mistake, but it's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, For by grace we have been saved through faith, and this is not of works, so that no man may boast verse kind of gives us two uh, different bipolar opposite ends of the spectrum. On one side, we have faith and grace, and on the other side, we have works, right? And he's saying, it's all going to be by faith and grace, uh, by grace through faith and not of works. And for a particular reason, it says, so that no man may boast. All right, so what is grace? Grace, uh, I think in the cliche definition is, it's getting something that you haven't earned, getting something you, ha you don't deserve. Uh, maybe a simple way to put it is, Grace means it's a gift, right? And that being tied to faith, uh, grace often, not always, but oftentimes comes in the form of some revelation, some spoken word. God in his grace tells you something and then by faith you believe it and then trust that what he said is, is true and you to act differently because of that. So say God tells you to climb to the top of Mount Everest and you don't have the strength to do it, but then God says, ask me and I'll give you the strength to do it. And then by faith, I believe God and I begin to ask him to give me what I need to climb Mount Everest. Um, so likewise, God tells you to do things that he knows that you cannot do. So that puts you in a position to have to ask for grace, to have to pray for grace, to have to need him and trust him and call out in his name. If you believe that, then you do it by faith. If you don't believe it or don't have faith, then you don't do it. And if you don't do it, then you don't receive it. Now, the opposite side of that would be to think, well, I'm just going to do it. God says to do it. I'm going to give it my old college try. I'm going to give it everything I got. Shoot, I'll figure out a way to make it happen. I'll pull myself up by my own bootstraps. That idea is works, right? And that idea basically says, I'm going to do it myself so I get the credit. Now, our life as a Christian is supposed to be lived by grace, right? It starts by grace, it finishes by grace, and everything in the middle is grace. God makes us promises, God records things for us, God speaks to us, and then we respond in faith. And that response that he gives to our response is grace. He says, ask me for this, trust me for this. We ask, we trust, he gives, and then we say, whoa, like, wow, this is, I didn't do this. This was God who did it for me. And at the end of the day, he gets the credit, he gets the glory, and we get the benefit. Another way of looking at this is there's essentially two different religions out there. Either we do for God or God does for us. Either it's works or grace. And almost every religion that man has ever, well, no, every religion that man has come up with basically says, do this for God, keep these rules for God, please God, sacrifice for God. Jesus is the only religion is the only faith is the only king is the only god who ever said no i'm gonna do for you this religion is by grace trust me what i'm going to do for you trust me what i'm going to provide for you and that's the difference are you going to do for god or does god do for you that's it uh, do you believe it's grace or do you believe it's work if you believe it's work get busy and you'll probably never do enough work and you'll probably always be stressed out if you believe it's by grace, well then pray. Ask God to do for you what you can't do for yourself. Receive his gifts. Trust him. He is worthy of faith. He is worthy of trust. He will never let you down. But that's the choice that you have to make today. Uh, is it grace or is it works? Will you boast in yourself or will you boast in how awesome God is? All right, thanks for watching. I hope that sorts out another one of those big Bible words that we don't use in everyday language. I will see you next video.